Okay, so for for 2013, terrible year. But then again, I feel like every year is terrible. Like, I don't know. I don't think my life has ever been, like, happy, really, honestly, ever. But whatever. Um, <laughs> I remember better days, and those weren't the greatest days either. So whatever. But, um... So for 2013 for um, Christmas, I didn't pretty much, as I probably mentioned, I figured I wasn't really even going to get anything for Christmas. I generally don't anymore. The, my main focus is that my child is happy. Um, and that's what matters to me. Um, yes, it sucks because I can't give her, like, the kind of childhood that I had. And I did have a pretty good childhood. Like, and... Uh, Compared to my brothers, I believe, I understand that I did get a better childhood than they did. Um, but, I don't know, my teenage years, nowhere near as good as my brothers did. So, whatever. Um, but uh, I did get a lot of really uh, good, happy things that happened to me. Uh, a friend of mine gave me um, some animation cells from a film from the 80s. Um, not gonna mention it. Not gonna mention which one it is, though. Um, so I've never actually owned a real production, animation production cell in my life, and now I have some. So, yay! Um, but, uh, this was a gift from my stepmother, and I usually never really had that good of a relationship with my stepmother. Um, not because I didn't, like, try or I didn't like her or anything. I just, I don't know, just, I'm not her kid. She's not my real mom. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not family. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't think I did anything different than I usually do. Um, but anyway, she was really nice to me and I was being nice to her and it's like complicated family things going on. But I had a really good time spending, uh, you know, personal time with her, and she and my dad came and got me for Christmas with my daughter, and we had Christmas in New Jersey, and it was bizarre weather. It was really warm at the time, and she got me a whole bunch of, like, stuff. Like, she got me a bunch of beads. A lot of it was my dad paid for it. Um, I haven't even finished some of the things yet because I'm so busy. Um, this is a necklace I haven't finished yet. It's like a tribal silver looking thing. I got a whole bunch of beads. I got, um, all kinds of stuff. I have, she helped me with fixing my, or tuning up my sewing machine. Um, it was pretty cool. It was really good and uh, we even got to watch Netflix. Uh, the first time I ever watched Netflix was in 2012 at my friend Pebble's house because her mom uh, hooked her up with an account there and I watched Star Trek all the time. Like, that's what I watched. I watched, actually I was watching Star Trek Voyager. I was watching like season four till the end because I never watched them. Um, and I watched it with her, with, with Pebble's aunt. So I have all kinds of things. I have new shears and stuff. And then I still figured I probably really wouldn't have that much of a Christmas because, like I said, I'm a mom and I want my child to have a good Christmas. But um, I actually ended up getting a bunch of uh, money, gift cards, things like that. Um, my sister-in-law gave me a card to go to Panera. So I used that mostly on my kid. <laughs> Um, there was a few other gift cards I used on my family to get, like, dinners. Uh, uh, an aunt of mine gave me money to get, like, pizza, except I think we went and got, like, steakhouse food or something. Uh, or, I forget what it was. It was diner, steakhouse, something. We did a bunch of things. I bought toys. I, I knew what the was on my daughter's Christmas list, so I bought, the, the, like, the toys she wanted. Um, because I don't know, she kept, she had a terrible experience with, um, like the, the gifts that were given to us, like the, I don't know if it was toys for tots or whatever, but the, I had a, just a really heartbreaking experience getting the donated toys to us. And when they delivered to her at my house, um, they were really sweet, really friendly, really nice. And, oh my God, I don't want to, I don't want to cry thinking about it, but, um, it really hurt, like, really hurt when it happened because 
we got this bag and the people were really friendly and nice and they're all volunteers and they in their mind they you know they're bringing people a, a merry christmas and a happy day and it was just like a few days before christmas and so we get these big bags of stuff and i opened it and i thought oh no i got somebody else's toys somebody else's some other family stuff and I thought, oh my god, what do I do? I need to return these because there's a mistake. This this isn't for my family. It had like baby toys, toys for boys, also the wrong age, and I only have one child. And you have to fill out all these forms just to explain like what, you know, so that they can, you know, help you have a Merry Christmas. And my name was on the bag. So then when I I took all the items out of the bag, and they're not wrapped. And at the bottom of the bag was my name taped down there. I, I couldn't believe it. Because my name was not only on the outside of the bag, it was at the bottom. So I don't know, like, what happened. Because I don't have infants. I don't have anything. So I couldn't even wrap them. And I asked my daughter... I said, is there anything in here that you like? Is there anything you want? And there was maybe like two things, two or three things out of two bags of stuff. And I asked her, I said, well, what do you want to do with this? And she says, well, what if I give it to my, my cousins in New Jersey? So that's what we had to do. And at the time, my stepmom called me and uh, I guess she must have really felt bad for us, like, because it really hurt, and we couldn't go Christmas shopping either. We just didn't have the money. We have uh, debts, bills, things like that. So, I, I, it really broke my heart. There was another one called uh, Globe Santa, which is like from the Boston Globe, and they sent us a package too that was better. Uh, but it had a nail polish kit that was ancient and you couldn't use it at all. It was just glue. it was like hard glue inside. And it was a plastic bottle, not glass. Um, um that was better. At least we liked the sticker and the cookie and the there was like a Hardy Boys book that it's like a mystery book and my daughter liked that. And there was like a bra a bracelet making kit that was like packaged in Germany. It was hard to figure out, but anyway, <laughs> I guess that was fun. So yeah, but my stepmom got my daughter a rainbow loom, which was like so nice. Everybody was so nice to my daughter, and I really want to like express like my gratitude to like my family members that helped me out. Um, I I kept having all kinds of weird snafus. Like uh, one of my brothers gave me a purse, and he gave it to me when I was like pretty drunk. <laughs> So I was so happy I got this purse, and then by the time I got home, and I, because I, I didn't use it yet, I was having fun with my, my, uh, my mom, with my dad and my stepmother, and my daughter, and then when I got home, I was like, oh my god, how do I, f there's all these problems with the purse, like, how do I fix it? So I kept, so I asked her, and I'm like, how do you fix it? And she was like, oh, don't worry about that, um, you know, I'll just get you a new one. So they got me another purse. And then also my brother gave me a jacket, and I can't really wear it up in New England. It's not the kind of jacket you can really wear up here. It's just it's a little tight on me right now um, because I can't really afford that good of a nutrition. I'm kind of a little overweight at the moment, uh, so I have to be careful what to eat and what not to eat other than, you know, whatever I have. And that's been frustrating because uh, there are certain, like, there are things that I'm really allergic to eating. And I don't know what to do because if you don't have, if you can't afford to get certain things, like, what are you going to do? You're going to eat what's there, you know. But um, I did get uh, other things. I got uh, gift cards, money, diff just different things. So... <sighs> Um, I went, uh, oh, my dad got me actually really nice. My dad was pretty nice. My dad took me out and took Hi my daughter out. We could have gone longer except Heidi is like finicky and she, since we can't afford to go anywhere and do anything, she doesn't know how to, how to go shopping and have fun. She doesn't know how to enjoy it. She just doesn't understand this kind of thing. So my dad got me a, um, a Mac 
eyeshadow. This is my first MAC eyeshadow. It's called Club. And, and um, that's it. And I got, my dad got me this one. This is called the Boudoir Eyes. It has like cards in it that show you like how to different looks you can do. Or you can make your own, which I do both. Um, another, I got, a, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So since I, I was like, well, maybe I could have a Christmas for once and actually get something I liked for once. Um, so I got this. This was something I really wanted. This was a Veda um, eyeshadows. The, the the Christmas the holiday palette thingy. Only thing is, it, it wasn't as good as I was thinking. It is really expensive, and for the price, I really think they should have made bigger pans of eyeshadow. It it, it could have been better. But anyway, I, I got what I wanted, so don't know if I will shop them again. I don't know. I'm kind of divided on how I feel about Avita right now. It seems like a really good company, but I'm not. Oh, I just, I'm divided on the products, honestly. Um, like I said, I did get Naked Three. It was the the thing that I wanted. The thing I wanted. I was so obsessed with that. Also, not as good as I thought it was going to be. It was very hyped. Um, Lorik unzipped. I definitely wanted this. I wasn't sure how much I wanted it, but I definitely wanted it. And every time I kept trying to buy it, it kept selling out as I was filling up the form to, you know, put in my credit card number. And then it was suddenly sold out and it happened like three times. So I finally had to get this one on Amazon, which I found after searching for a while and was like, yay. So, and I also had to keep waiting for certain things because it kept selling out. So I bought a lot of these things in, in January or paid for them in January because my money was still there. Um... This was a Too Faced palette, which has like a, a cell phone eye case, which I don't have a phone to put this on. Two, I was expecting to because of something, but I'm not going to say what that is. And um, I got this on sale because I was buying this. This uh, was something that I wanted for a very long time. I almost got it a few times in this, so I finally got it. And this was rec recommended to me by a teacher, a dance teacher of mine. And it's really good. It's very good. Um, so if I ordered, when I ordered this, if I bought this, um, I got free shipping. And it ended up being a better deal than just ordering this and paying for the shipping. So if I bought this, also got free shipping, better deal. So of course I did that. This took forever to ship. It seriously did. I think it shipped from somewhere up in like near Canada. Not Canada, but in the United States it was what? It was up really up there. Was it Michigan or something? Uh, and oh. And then like I had just a few extra dollars. I usually don't like more and more don't like Victoria's Secret's um, makeup. I think they're really terrible. And these are sort of on sale, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. Uh, this one here is called Shimmer uh, Shimmer Eyeshadow Ombre. Uh, oh, no, that's Frenchy. It was called Undercover. It's a pinky, highlighty, shimmery, champagne thingy shade, typical of me. And then I went and got this purpley one. Um, it's terrible. It's called Taboo. It's so awful. It's really bad. But if you mix it, I noticed if I use this and I mix it with the color from Naked 2, like uh, this one here called Verve, Verve, I don't know. Um, it can work. But you have to sort of dab it into here first, then dab it into the, this, then mix it around in the thingy and try to get it to work. Hopefully it will. Maybe. Otherwise, um, I think from now on I'm going to ban myself from Victoria Secret makeup because they're so terrible and they're not worth the price. They're so off they're so bad. I'd rather get Mac. I'd rather get Mac. Actually, you know what? I'd rather get drugstore. I'd rather get like wet and wild. Um, I also got some kind of like lip lacquer gloss thingy from Victoria's Secret. Not that bad, but 
I did not pay full price for it. It was on sale. Um, so yeah, I got all, I got that was pretty much what I got. I got other things too. Um, oh yeah, my stepmom gave me two things of this Turkish yarn, and uh, she made one. She started making one. She was teaching me how to do knitting, which I never did before. Which I have the knitting needles here. They're purple. This is also purple. It's like a fluorescent purple, which doesn't show up on the camera, but um, I love purple. I just don't always wear purple makeup. I don't think it really goes well with me unless I do it right. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I made this second one and I made it into an infinity scarf. And, oh, I got all kinds of freebies and free samples. Like, I got a freebie of this. I got a freebie of Aveda stuff. I actually thought, I was under the impression that if you ordered products from Aveda's website, that somehow that would, that you would get, like, a coupon or a discount to go to the salon thingy, which I live literally, like, next door from my neighborhood, down the street, there's a salon there that's an Aveda salon. And I was under the assumption that if you ordered products from them, from their website, they would give you some discount or something. And that did not happen. So, ugh. I'm kind of torn, kind of uh, uh, on the fence about Aveda. I was wanting to really like them, but I don't know right now. Um, it's really expensive. Some of the products, uh, like they had this, I, I have psoriasis on my hair, especially. Sometimes I get it on my face or my neck or my ears or whatever. Um, and I was recommended this product. I got a sample pack of it and it burned the heck out of my scalp because it has like chili, like chili pepper in it and spices and things. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what to think of that. Also, the products are really expensive. The samples are not that good. They're just this like tiny little samples. So, like, for example, like they would give you like a shampoo sample and I can't wash my hair with it. Like I'll put it in, maybe it'll lather up this part of my head and then I can't even do the rest. I don't know. I think there's it's like a thing with online stuff. You'll get this sample, you'll get that sample. Here's a coupon code, and then you get the sample. And it doesn't look anything like the photo. It's just like this tiny little thing. And eh. 